I see streams like this all the time. And there's a lot of beautiful things about them. But one of the things that strikes me the most is their consistency. These streams are flowing day and night without ceasing. And there's nothing that I do and nothing that I can do to stop it. And there's a beautiful connection with a stream like this and a story from John chapter 13. Jesus is washing the feet of his friends. And in the process of doing this, he takes off his robe and puts on a towel. And this piece of taking off the robe was taking off the garment of a leader, of a teacher, and putting on the garment of a servant or a slave. And it was an incredibly humbling, humiliating piece, a gift. Especially when you remember that in antiquity, in, these, this, in this time, the cities had no sewers. Sewage ran openly in the streets. So to place your hands on another person's feet uh, was a very humbling endeavor. And in the story, one of Jesus' friends, Peter, pulls his feet back and says to Jesus, no, 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 never. A very emphatic refusal of the service of Jesus, which reveals to us one of the greatest struggles for Christians. We're happy to see Christ as a member of the Godhead. We're happy to see him as before all things. We're happy to see him as a miracle maker, but we are reticent to view him as a servant, one who washes our feet, one who puts his hands with joy on the things that we would consider revolting. And Christ's response to Peter is, well, Peter, if you don't let me do this, then we have no relationship. To have a relationship with Christ is inseparable from seeing him as the servant, the one who will wash your feet, the one who is willing and wanting to engage with all the things that we want to refrain from, the things that we want to hide, the things that we want to see go away. But this is what it is to be a Christian, is to know Christ as the one who is at our feet. And I think about this stream, the never-ending flow of it. It's constantly flowing. It's new every single day. The mercies of Christ are new every single day. And the passage goes on to say, not only are they new every day, but they're sufficient. The mercies of Christ are constant and sufficient. And that is the place of rest. To be still and know that not only is He God, that He is the God of mercies that are new every single day.